Yo guys, here we are back again. So in this video, we'll be trying to solve this trig equation within this interval. And to do it, all we need to do is make cos a subject and cos inverse. So let's do this. Let's make two cos this time the subject. So we're going to have two cos theta minus pi over 5 equals to 1. And let's divide by 2. So we're going to be left with cos theta minus pi over 5 equals a half. Now cos inverse in this, we should be given, we should get this. We should Cos inverse of half will give us pi over 3 in the calculator. So remember, this is the cos inverse. Now, notice that we have this term, pi minus pi over 5, and this is the interval we have. So all we really need to do is rewrite this interval with pi theta minus pi over 5. So therefore, within the interval of theta minus pi over 5, we should subtract these two amounts. So we're going to have pi take away pi over 5 will give us 4 over 5 pi minus pi minus pi over 5 will give us minus 6 pi over 5. And this is the interval we are now working with. So to do this, we always start with the cost diagram. So if you recall, using the cost diagram, we only deal with um, quadrants that's, that is related to the function we're using. So because we're using cos, we use c. And because A indicates all, we always start from here. So we have an angle here which is worth pi over 3 and an angle here which is worth pi over 3. Now, let's have a crack at this. So all we're really doing is pretty much traveling up 1, pi over 3, which we have. And the second one, we just go down, pi over 3 is all. So remember, this is 0. So we, if we go back, we subtract. So our second solution would be negative pi over 3 because we went back. And... That's it. Because the interval is so small, we can only travel pretty much up to here. Adding, you know, going subtract, well, going back pi over 5 is pretty much negligible because it's nothing. Same here. You're only going to travel up to here. You can't go any more further. So hence, these are our solutions. So now, to get the actual value of theta, we just add pi over 5 to both these terms. So therefore, theta equals pi over 3 plus pi over 5. And theta also equals minus pi over 3 plus pi over 5. And that's it. And what do these both give you? Well, the first one is going to give you um, 8 pi over 15. Yep. And the second one, minus pi over 3 plus pi over uh, 5, should give us um, minus 2 pi over 15. Yep, and that's it guys. This is pretty much the solution we're looking for. So yeah, I hope this helps and please let me know if you're not sure how it's done. Again, you're just really following the rules. Anything you have in here, you always do right at the end. Yep, and that's it. I, by the way, I also have part two and um, I'll put a link in the description for the second part of this video. Okay. Anyway, ciao for now and see you all soon. Bye-bye.